there. Lever's got to be real careful here. Hill's got hold of him. Inside, juggling attempt by Rivers. Hill, if he can keep his feet, he can't. He was tackled. Oliver did well. No, got him high, says the umpire. In he comes, punt road in. Squeezes it home. McCreary sits it up. McStay underneath the footy at the back hill again. Big start, Collingwood. Seventh time this year has kicked multiple goals. Eventually, Melbourne get a clearance. Brayshaw, oh, he was met solidly after he got rid of it. I think he's had some damage done here and he may have been knocked out. Brayshaw, he has not moved. And it's going to start of a bit of a fish bash here. Got the free kick, Melbourne. It'll be a down the ground free, free kick. So in comes Fritch. Melbourne get there first. They trail by a goal. But they'll all be thinking of Brayshaw. They're the ones that ride every bump and have been on this journey. And, oh, yeah. and he can't protect himself in that position either, no. either for Brayshaw. So he's... At the mercy of that oncoming play. It does definitely look like the shoulder made contact yeah, he's with the head. Side on. Just going up to Maynard and saying, let's go. I'll stand up for my teammate here. And now it's on. This is going to erupt here. Viney and Maynard are going at it. They'll need to be careful. Mark off for that athleticism. Kicks it to a two on one. Did well, Elliot, to get back. McStay was worried about him. The oncoming Van Royen. And now McStay's gone to the ground incident with Van Roy and it made him come from the ground so he is now down under some HIA protocols in the rooms to half forward McCreary gets a step on everyone and then the inside 50 ball for Crisp is good their transition offensive run is just a little bit too much at the moment he would love this going Man. through runs a bit of an arc it's a good strike it's a brilliant strike. It's there. To Goey, the short option, didn't want to go there. Instead, it's a penetrating ball. Rivers from the side. Cameron there as well. And that's a paid mark. Little fumble from Laurie. That's holding the ball. It's the pace and movement of Collingwood's entries. For McStay, so he has a decision to make. Picks out one of those. It's a high ball. Meyer check the target. And a good mark. Got May running back. So Meyer check with the set shot. That's better. It's goal number five for Collingwood. Meyer check soaks up May. And then gets it back. Here's McCreary. Taken by May in a very strong tackle. They've got to turn that around. Now, Alex, the Shane Warne. Down inside of the ground, Langdon rips it back to Sparrow. Quickly back into attack. What can they do this time? Pickett at the back. How in front, Pickett's taking the mark. So Pickett does play on around the corner and kicks the goal. Back to 19 points. Leaving the booty behind was Hoskin Elliott. It's suddenly a big ball to win. Out of nowhere, May. Caught heat. Lost the handle. Collingwood did well. That is a great result for them. Keep it one on one. Higher on check. Inside 50. Great ball. This will be a goal. Torn the front and centre. A highly unlikely one. Long, deep ball. Great mark taken, Murphy. Great awareness there from Darcy Moore to understand that the player coming back, McCreary, is going to go for the ball. Beautiful forward ball here from Bobby Hill. Now Lipinski, it's starting to work here for Collingwood. McStay. Cox, Sparrow, one out of nothing. Moscanelli, come back to you in a moment. High footy, Meyer check there, trying to force it. Lever over the back with a big spoil. Mitchell gets a long, deep ball. Hills there, McStay going back with a flight, takes a lovely mark. Laurie, wobbly ball forward, Pickett comes at it, Dacos gone, 
Neil Bullen did a very good job. Directly in front. Well done, Alex Neil Bullen. It's game on. I reckon you'd like to see a little bit of chaos ball inside the Melbourne forward 50 as well. Just see whether that works. You get a bit of luck out of that, perhaps. An opportunity in here to Goey. 40, closing, long ball. Got it. What a response. At half back. So 4.45 in the third quarter remaining here. It's a 26 point margin. Van Royen! Hasn't had a lot of the footy, just his fourth touch of the night. And just hacks a wobbler inside 50. All the way to Quayner. Rare fumble from him. At the back, Fritch Maynard came through. McDonald, McDonald, first of the term, Melbourne. Sparrow on his way through. Floating ball forward, Smith. Oliver tried to come through. Sparrow's been really good. Viney, inside 50 ball, Fritch. Oh, Quayner, absolutely brilliant. Rivers giving chase. Got the footy, the fend off on Ginnivan. Should get the free Ginnivan. They're doing... Oliver. Someone from Melbourne's got to get on the end of some of this, otherwise the game's gone. Fritch out the back, Moore with him, got it. And he dribbles it through. They are still alive. It's Oliver. Oh no, kicks to a run on five. Elliot, how good was that? Read it. A massive 92,636 in the house tonight. Collingwood look like they're going to advance to a prelim final. Twain are magnificent in this last quarter. We'll play the winner of Carlton and Sydney. Collingwood will play in the preliminary final on Craig McRae's 50th birthday. Can you believe that? They get to the last four in the comp. Week out, but the incident with Gus Brayshaw, talk us, talk us through that moment. Yeah, I guess I don't want to say too much, but it's a footy act. I came forward, I jumped to smother the ball, and um, yeah, unfortunately, I just got him on the way down. So I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what happens, but it's all love. I absolutely love that guy a bit, so um, yeah, it's shattering what happened. Does it make you nervous as players? Obviously, in finals, you know what's to come, but when incidents like that happen, it is quite stressful, isn't it? It is, it is stressful, but. Um, you sort of got to move on. It's a bloody intense game. Um, it requires a lot mentally and also physically. So uh, that's why we're built for this. Um, yeah, it's finals. You're a machine and we absolutely love the way you go about it. Thanks, Joe. Well Thanks.